Hello Antique and Garden Showcase friends and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm it's probably going to be a short video. I've been really busy starting a new job as an auction cataloger and photographer and a little bit about what I do is the auction house they'll have things ready for me already lotted up and then I just have to go in and photograph those and make them look really nice and you know show any damage and whatever else and get those pictures posted online for their internet uh, auctions that are coming up. So it's been kind of a new challenge, kind of a new new thing for me. And um, next week I'm going to be at an estate for the entire week trying to get that put together. So with this video, I'm just going to say that there may be some delays with uh, Antique and Garden Showcase videos for the next maybe two weeks. Um, I might only post once a week, or I may delay things to a different day. Just kind of stay posted. Um, I will have updates on my Facebook page, uh, which you can find in the links below, always. And then also on my website, www.antiqueandgardenshowcase.com. And now let's see what we can take a look at today. Well, I decided to go to the flea market and do a little bit of shopping today. So I'm going to go see if I can find something for the booth. And I may just try to see if I can find anything for my parents' 50th wedding anniversary too, which will be the day that this video comes out. So for one part of the anniversary surprise, look at what Warren's greenhouse put together. Isn't this beautiful for golden anniversary? I thought about getting them live flowers in a vase and having them set up and I thought well you know I'm going to spend a lot on that the last a week and then there'll be no more enjoyment this will be all summer long there's geraniums that little pretty plant I can't think of the name right now some trailer in there you know, different types pretty pretty it's salvia so I'm excited I got to sneak this into the house there's some other things in here too I got at the uh flea market. I got this cute little wall rack. It looks like it could be like a spice rack or you could make little potted succulents and put in there. It's got a cardinal on it. How appropriate for this year. And then I got a wicker basket. Um, really neat older piece. And in here wrapped up and I'll show you these in a bit if I can get them out without them knowing about it. There's a 50th anniversary plate and two cups and a little box. And these are vintage. They're vintage left in Japan. And I happened to just run upon those while I was there today. Something kept telling me to go down there because I would find something. And then, of course, I can't go wrong with Warren's. I can't keep looking at this. This is so pretty. Then I found a nice little quilt uh, down there. A little birdcage piece. So, always do well at the flea market. And uh, let me see if I can get these inside. Then I'll show you the rest. So I'm trying to be very quiet. These are the two mugs that I managed to get for my mom and dad's 50th wedding anniversary tomorrow. This is one of them. They're both the same. And they're marked Lefton on the bottom, 1984. They still have the stickers and everything on them. I thought, well, what a neat vintage piece. But something that's really pretty and enjoyable that they can keep too. So there's two of those. And then somewhere in here... They only had one plate, and they had it listed as nine pieces, but we couldn't come up with all nine pieces. So that really pretty plate, it has a neat beaded edge to it, you can see there. And then it's marked the same as well. Lefton. So I'm going to try to sneak these in and get them all cleaned up tonight and ready for the breakfast table in the morning. And also in that little grouping was this little music box, which was originally a hallmark, his 50th anniversary. And on the inside of it, it has a little inscription that says, Every moment touched by love turns to gold. I thought that was really neat, too. So that's going to be part of the table setting in the morning as well. So some of the other things I picked up today were this really pretty quilt. It's a small quilt, like a child's quilt or a baby quilt, but neat size. I got this neat little bird cage. I guess you could make it into a planter. It's uh, been painted green, but the little lid opens up on that. Um, just flip that and then it lifts open so you can put whatever down inside. And then I got this neat little wicker basket for a sun porch or outdoor area that I'll be taking over to the booth. I got one more piece in the garage. Let's go look at that. It's funny, it's been a cardinal kind of year around here, and I ran into this little shelf today who has a cardinal motif on it. And the shelves are not very wide. They're probably about two inches wide, but probably about a little better than 12 inches uh, long. 
So I thought, well, that would be good. It would either be good for a spice rack or it would be good with little potted succulents or something in it hanging on a wall in a garden room. I think there could be lots of uses for it, but I love the little vines and the bird. I think that'll sell pretty quick at the shop. Well, thank you for watching Antique and Garden Showcase this weekend. I appreciate your viewership and loyalty to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And also go to the webpage, www.antiqueandgardenshowcase.com. Also on there, you can find the Facebook link to the retail location at the Chestnut Street Mini Mall. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good weekend, and I'll see you in the next one really soon. Bye.